uh, Lou Gehrig and Stephen Hawking, I think, exemplify uh, the, the variable ways in which individuals are affected by the disease. Um, you look at someone who's relatively young, uh, healthy, like Lou Gehrig, and it affects them in a relatively rapid manner, as opposed to someone like Stephen Hawking, who seemed to have lived, was living with the disease for decades. Um, and it's that uh, heterogeneity with how individuals are affected by the disease, which is so challenging. I know in training, um, one of my mentors would tell me uh, with ALS, patients with ALS that you can see ALS in 100 different patients, and it affects them 100 different ways. Recent research is actually suggesting that there is some correlation between types of frontotemporal dementia, uh, which is a less common form of dementia than what most people think is Alzheimer's dementia, um, and some genetic uh, ties to ALS. Um, there have been uh, genetic uh, strides and actually a specific gene that's been found that links the two disorders together. And again, it's just another area where we are learning more about but like most neurodegenerative disorders, there's a lot of overlap.